Welcome to the Daily Business and Finance Show. Trump and Harris clash at the second U.S. presidential debate, sparking a surge in solar stocks. NVIDIA's CEO predicts a $1 trillion boost for data centers with the rise of generative AI, while Trump media and technology stock hits a 10-month low. Rivian faces growing pains as it scales up EV production, and the U.S. considers exporting NVIDIA chips to Saudi Arabia. AT&T breaks its seven-session winning streak, and OpenAI is reportedly eyeing $6.5 billion in funding at a staggering $150 billion valuation. Stay tuned after this short ad break to learn more. U.S. Vice President Kamala Harris and former President Donald Trump clashed in the second presidential debate of the 2024 election, hosted by ABC News. Key topics included housing, tariffs, inflation, border security, fracking, Israel-Palestine conflict, Ukraine-Russia war, healthcare reform, and climate change. First Solar and Enphase Energy were among the top gainers on the S&P 500 Wednesday, rising 9.6% and 3.6%. Other solar stocks also surged, with Sunren up 7.1%, SolarEdge Technologies up 5.3%, and Canadian Solar up 8.3%. Investors believe Vice President Harris's debate performance could benefit clean energy stocks due to tax credits from the Biden administration's Inflation Reduction Act. NVIDIA's CEO Jensen Huang announced that general-purpose data centers worth trillions will be modernized into accelerated computing, driven by generative artificial intelligence. Speaking at the Goldman Sachs Communicopia Plus Technology Conference, Huang highlighted NVIDIA's new Blackwell chip system and emphasized AI's role in boosting productivity and transforming industries. Shares of Trump Media and Technology Group, listed on the Nasdaq as DJT, hit a near 10-month low after the first presidential debate between Donald Trump and Kamala Harris. The stock dropped 18% at open to $15.30 and is down 80% from its peak. DJT has no Wall Street analyst ratings but holds a sell rating from seeking alpha analysts. Rivian Automotive shares increased by 5.3% this week. CEO RJ Scarinch and CFO Claire McDonough addressed supplier issues affecting production at investor conferences. Rivian targets 215,000 units by 2026 from its Illinois plant, with flexible capacity across vehicle lines to maximize profits. The Q3 deliveries report is anticipated in three weeks. The U.S. government is close to approving NVIDIA's export of artificial intelligence chips to Saudi Arabia, as reported by sources at the GAIN AI Summit in Riyadh. The event included representatives from Alphabet, Qualcomm, and Grok. Saudi Arabia seeks to comply with U.S. security requirements following earlier restrictions related to its connections with China. Adam T shares fell 2% on Wednesday, ending a seven-day winning streak. The stock is up 27.2% this year, outperforming the S&P 500 index's 15.2% rise. Adam T and Nokia signed a five-year deal to expand at and T's fiber network in the U.S., boosting analyst confidence in the company's growth prospects. Microsoft-backed OpenAI is negotiating a $6.5 billion funding round, valuing the AI startup at $150 billion, according to Bloomberg. Talks are also underway for a $5 billion revolving credit facility. Thrive Capital and Microsoft are expected to join, with Apple and NVIDIA considering investments. Thanks for tuning in to the Daily Business and Finance Show. Stay informed, stay ahead. Catch you next time with more insights and updates. I'm Montgomery Jones. And I'm Amalia Dupre. Until we meet again tomorrow, have a great rest of your day or night. This content is sourced from the Seeking Alpha website, so support our podcast by becoming a Seeking Alpha Premium subscriber. See the show notes page for links to sign up. This episode is produced by Classic Studios. This podcast provides information only and should not be construed as financial or business advice. Check out our other podcasts in our network at classicstudios.com.